Hi everyone. It's Sue from Sue's Puzzles here with another video for you guys. Today's video is going to be a review on this company called Huadada. I think that's how it's spelled, but here's the company logo for you so you can find them. I was approached by this company a couple weeks ago asking if I wanted to do a puzzle review of their puzzles. And of course I said yes. So they sent me quite a few in here. I have a few plus this one and another one over here on the shelf. And I've put together three out of the five they sent me before making my decision on what I wanted to say in my puzzle review. Um, I did do a little research on the company. They've been in business about five years now. And they have um, an Amazon store. That's their main place for selling their puzzles is on Amazon. They don't have a website of their own yet. And also they have a Facebook group that you can join and get a chance to get some free puzzles from them doing some puzzle reviews, and also you could contact the company that way. But I will put the information in the description box if you would like to join their Facebook group or go visit their website. Well, Amazon store, that is. Also, if you watch to the end of the video, I'm going to do a flip through of some of their puzzles so that you can see just what they have to offer. So... Let's get into the review. Okay, here is how the puzzles come. They're wrapped in cellophane, which is nice. I really like that. Let's take this off and take a look at the box. Okay. The first thing I noticed, and it's because I use an app to collect list all my puzzles in a collection so I know which puzzles I own. And this box he has no scan code that you can use to add your puzzle to a collection easily. It's not going to pull up like a, I don't know if it's ISBN or what they call it, but... There's no barcode whatsoever on the box. So that I didn't much care for. The boxes are smaller than like an average box. Um, let me grab one. So here's like a typical Cobble Hill puzzle box for a thousand pieces. And here is the Huadada box. So they're way more compact. The Ravensburgers are bigger too. But the Buffalo games are about this size, but thicker. So if that gives you an idea about the size of the box. Now on the box itself, I really like the cover. It shows you a full-size image on the cover. And then... On the sides, it just has the company name and the name of the puzzle, and then ages 14 plus. But I did notice on the two puzzles that they sent, well, on two different puzzles, it's different. So, like, this puzzle, they have, oops, sorry, all this information on the back about the product size and packaging and where it's made and everything like that. And on this box, which I'm thinking is a newer design, it lists that information on the side panel and then it gives you some images on the back of their other puzzles. And then they also have on here piece missing support. So it has an email address and a website you can go to if you're missing any pieces. Now, one thing I did notice 
when looking at all the images, I went looking before they sent me any puzzles. And I seen quite a few images that I don't know if they're licensed to them or not. I questioned it because it was a lot of um, different images that I've seen all over the web. So I think they're like free to use images, some of them. And like, you know, this puzzle's got Skittles and M&Ms and all that. And, you know, I was just curious if all this was licensed because when I first looked at them, there was a dog in one of the images and I've seen it all over the web. And so I emailed before getting the puzzles and I said, you know, who are your artists? Do you list them on your boxes or do you have them on your website or who makes your images? And the answer I got were the images are created by artists signed by their company is what they said. So I'm assuming they're licensed for the images that they're using, but they sent me the puzzles and they gave me an answer. So I'm assuming that all that is correct. Anyways, the images on the box look great. The coloring is great. The box is nice and sturdy. And what more can you ask for? So inside the box, when you open it, you get, of course, your package of puzzle pieces and a poster. Now, this is not your average poster by any means. This poster is the exact size of the puzzle itself. So it's just a duplicate of the puzzle. So to me, it is huge. I can't even get it all in my camera. See, look at how big this is. I'll put the puzzle box image on it so you can see about. It takes up one third of the image. See that? It's just huge. Well, the puzzle is, let me see what size it is. Just over 27 inches by just under 20 inches. So it's, it's a healthy size puzzle. So to me, this poster is just rather unusable. So I didn't, I just used the box cover. I didn't even use this. But you could try and get it to lay flat and actually do your puzzle right on it if you want to, and then you'd know exactly where all the pieces went. Let's take a look at the pieces. Let me put this in. Okay. I'm going to get a Ravensburger to compare it to. All right. Now, first I gotta say that these puzzle pieces are very, very, very sturdy. They, they don't have any flex to them whatsoever. And they're pretty dang thick. So, I don't know if you can see that. This back one is a Ravensburger. It's an older Ravensburger, so it's not that bright blue color. It's lighter. But they're pretty close in size and, you know, in thickness. The Hudata one is just a little bit thinner, but it is like very, very, very sturdy. The Hudata puzzles are grid cut. As you can see, all standard pieces. 
So I like that. I do do some bits and pieces sometime, but I like the grid cut better. And they are a little bit shiny, but they weren't so shiny that even at night with the light on and that, I didn't get much glare at all. It wasn't bad. I mean, yes, you're going to get a little glare at night, irregardless, but it wasn't so bad that I couldn't puzzle at night with it. As you, as you may notice on the backs of these, there is a pattern. And I'm going to show you two images. I'm going to put them up on the screen right now. And one of the puzzles that they sent me, which was the older one again. Where is the box here? This one came with the back with each section labeled. So I don't remember if it was A, B, C, or one, two, three, or what. I think, it, I don't remember. I think it was A, B, C, but you'll see it on your screen. And that made it so that you could separate the puzzle pieces out by section and you would have less to sort through as you're putting it together. So it would be easier to get this puzzle done than the other puzzle. Now this puzzle, well, not this particular one, but the donut puzzle and that that I did had a logo on the back instead that just said Huadada on the back of it and it didn't have it sectioned out. Now I don't see anywhere on the box and I looked and I didn't see anywhere where it said this one has it sectioned out and this one doesn't. So that's kind of a bummer because if you wanted to order it specifically to have it be a little bit easier, it would be nice to know that. But I think they might have been doing that when they first started and they switched it out to their logo. At least there's more puzzles that they sent me with the logo than there is with it sectioned out. So if you hold on for just a minute, I'm going to show you some images of... The puzzles that I put together, some close-up image of me putting the pieces together, and then at the end I will give you my final thoughts on these puzzles and this brand. First time I ever saw you, I fell in love when you entered the room. When the light hit your face We were just kids But I knew right away That I will be with you Until I stop breathing I will keep loving you As long as my heart's beating Oh, hold me close Promise you Nothing 
To start out, I must say the pieces fit nicely together in these puzzles. They, I didn't really have any areas where I was questioning if the piece fit or if it didn't fit, which to me is a big plus because there's a lot of puzzles you put in and you have them the whole time in the wrong spot. This wasn't like that. But having said that, the pieces are not really super snug. And when you have to do sections, like I do sections at a time and then I move them into the main puzzle frame. And I tend to do that with every puzzle I do. And with this puzzle, you got to have like a piece of paper or something to slide them onto to move them around or they just fall apart on you. So that I didn't much care for. The image of on the puzzle itself is like the poster. It's just beautiful. I mean, it's very vibrant. The colors look excellent. They're just beautiful puzzles. Oh, the one thing I didn't mention is, first of all, I'm rather OCD. People don't really know that. I don't talk about it. But... When scooping the puzzle pieces out, there like is no puzzle dust in the box. It well, there was a tiny bit like on the table after dumping it and sorting it, but there's like next to none, which is excellent. But I like to, and I'm probably a weird person, but I like to feel the pieces as I pull them out. It's part of what I like about putting a regular jigsaw puzzle together over doing one on my iPad. I just like the texture of the pieces. I like the snap together and everything. These don't really snap together. They're loose. But the part that got me was when I was scooping them out of the box. It's a texture issue. I've never had a puzzle that I've really had a texture issue with. And I've had some that had a lot of puzzle dust and I just didn't care for it because the puzzle dust was everywhere. But I never had it where I went to scoop the puzzle pieces and I like stepped back from it a minute because I didn't like the feeling of it. But I think that is because they have some kind of coating on them to eliminate the puzzle dust. And when I was putting the puzzle together on the table on that, it was fine. It didn't bother me then. But if you're like me and you're very OCD, that might be something you want to be aware of with textural issues. I have a lot of issues with like newspapers and like pencils on a piece of paper, like that gritty feeling in that. And this gave me that same kind of feeling when I scooped the puzzle pieces out of the box. But moving them around the table and putting them in place in that, I didn't get that feeling from them. Just the scooping when there was a big pile of them and grabbing them with my hands did I feel that way. So if you're like me, that's something to think about. Because if I would have just bought these puzzles myself and they didn't send me so many and I said I would try them, I would have went to grab those puzzle pieces out and I would have said, oh, forget this. And I would have just shut the lid and pushed it away because I'd be afraid touching all those puzzle pieces, I'd get the same feeling. And I really have an issue with that. So it pushed me to go further than what I would have if I would have purchased it on my own. And I'm glad it did because they're really beautiful puzzles and I didn't have an issue beyond that first initial scoop out of the puzzle pieces. And so that's my take on that. Now, would I buy them in the future? I think so. Yeah, I really do. They have some beautiful images. And then hold on after I say goodbye here. If you want to see what puzzles they have, I'll do a flip through for you guys so you can get an idea of it. But that's my take on the Huidata puzzles. So I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please 
like the video and make a comment because it helps me greatly if you do that. And if you like this, subscribe so that you can see more when I do more. I'm going to have another puzzle haul video probably coming out in the next week or so. And that I'm going to try and keep updating more often for you guys. But that's it for today. So I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. First time I ever saw you I fell in love when you entered the room And when the light hit your face We were just kids but I knew right away That I will be with you until I stop breathing I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating Oh, oh.